I may be a city girl, but I've got roots right here in the Western Burbs. That's why I was so excited when you guys sent us to Neat Kitchen and Bar in Westmont for some beer-infused awesomeness. So when I walk into Neat Kitchen, I feel like I'm walking into a restaurant in the city of Chicago. Tell me a little bit about the feel you're going for. A lot of people lived in the city before, and there's not that many options out there, a lot of chains. Places kind of lack personality, and our focus is on just like our quality ingredients, over 100 different craft beers. We try a lot of stuff and really just try to turn them on to some new things. I just love the atmosphere here. I think it's a great place to come and hang out with your friends. It always feels interesting and lively. The food's phenomenal, beerless awesome. It's kind of a a little piece of downtown kind of transport you out of the suburbs. So this is, as you know, our beer-infused episode. Right. Tell me a little bit about what we're going to be making today. One of our signature dishes, which is a beer braised short rib. There's so many different flavor profiles in beer, and if you find the right style, it could lend to a lot of different dishes. Lending to our dish today, Goose Island's Oktoberfest Marzen. All right, Jason, I am here. I am bearing beer. So these are our ribs. So it looks like we yep. got some boneless these are short ribs. Short ribs. Uh, Is this one portion? No. Okay. No. <laughs> I was getting a little concerned. So, yeah, how do we start? Season them up. Get a good sear on them. Nice brown crust. After a 10 minute sear, our short ribs come out. This is gearing up to be like a real man's dish, right? <laughs> Meat and beer. Meat and beer. Can't go wrong. Our veggies go in, and it's time for the good stuff. What does this add to the dish? It has some age on it, a malt background, slight bitterness to it. Next will be a veal demi-glace. Give it just nice texture and meaty flavor. And then next, the short ribs. Time for a bath, a little guys. All right, these look amazing. I'm gonna cool down a bit, get out of the <laughs> kitchen. Uh, I'll meet you out there when they're done. All right, sounds good. I had the short ribs with uh, parsnip puree. Oh my God, savory, sweet, salty, everything you want. Extremely flavorful. They're rich, tender. The beer's not overpowering or the beef's not overpowering. Everything comes together perfectly. We not only have the beer braised short rib, we also got some beer infused cheese potato soup. So we're just gonna be digging into a bunch of different stuff. Mm, creamy and velvety. I can definitely taste the beer cutting through with a little like tanginess through that potato and cheese. Really, really great. What's going Thank on with the short much. What's going on with our short ribs over there? Easy pairing. Drink the beer you made the short ribs with. The Mars and Lager works really well. Uh, that is falling apart, you can tell, just those hours of braising. The beer flavor really gets in there, the long cooking time, super tender and falling apart. What makes you guys Chicago's best beer infused? I think we're just passionate about what we do. We're passionate about beer and the beers we carry and what we serve here. William and Kristen on Facebook said we had to come to Neat Kitchen for all your great beer infused dishes. Big thanks to them. Bottoms up, let's get into yeah, it. Cheers, thank you.